Vintage sports car racing, theater, drama, spectacle. But Dougal Corley and his Fraser Nash racing car, affectionately known as Piglet. This is no exhibition. This 1929 3.2 liter fire breathing monster means business. Don't for one minute get the impression that we're not racing. We're really racing. And these cars will drift around the corner gracefully and beautifully and I suppose if I watch things like Formula One these days I don't find it quite as exciting because they've got ultimate grip the technology in there is fantastic but there isn't as much drama in there because they're just planted on the road whereas a, a vintage car like this is, is, is drifting and moving underneath you. That drama offered by the spectacle of vintage sports car racing is a great way to inspire the next generation of motorsport engineers and drivers. It's also a great way to make home improvements in the Corley household. My second son Wilfred, he, I bought him an Austin 7 now. Um, he's driven that car. In fact, he, he's actually crashed into my garage door once as well, bless him. But uh, he's got an Austin 7 now that, because he's interested in engineering, uh, it's the perfect starter for him because the, the mechanics in it are relatively simple. Um, it's all moving parts, you can see the moving, you can see what's going on. So um, he's got an Austin 7 in the garage and spending quite a bit of time fettling that now and getting that up so that by the time he's 17, I think maybe even 16 for doing sprints and hill climbs, but by the time he's old enough, he'll have made the car his own, he'll, have, he'll know every nut and bolt on it like I do with that thing and he'll be really keen to get out there and, and do some motorsport himself. Yes. Let him. So you line up on the start line here at Cadwell Park, staring up at the flat out left hander of copies behind the wheel of an exotic vintage sports car. You're a racing driver, you were born to do this. What goes through your mind? I, I always get revved up and tense before a race. I do get twitchy and nervous about it. I've been doing it for years, I've done loads of races, but I still get twitched and nervous before the start of the race. And you start talking to yourself about, oh, I'm just gonna go out there and drive around and take it steady. There's no point going hell for leather. Just, you know, just be sensible out there. And then you get down there on that start line. Your blood starts boiling. They give you that five second ticket. And then five seconds later, flag drops, woof, we're off. All of us together, plowing into that first corner, which is epic. There are a lot of people out there who are fascinated by the engineering side of it, fascinated by the history of it, and intoxicated by the experience of getting out there and wringing its neck and having a good time. And really, I suppose, probably the best way to get some kind of involvement in these things, if you, it would be to come to Cadwell Park, they'll all be there in the paddock. You can get close and dirty with them. Um, people will be driving the cars down to the paddock. You can walk around the paddock and get right amongst the cars, see people fettling them and preparing them. It's the perfect way to get an experience of a, a vintage car. The Vintage Motor Racing Festival on the 23rd of July 2017 marks the 90th anniversary of Fraser Nash. The event will be packed with entertainment on and off the track. Perfect for the whole family. This is Cadwell Park.